In this video, I want to go over how to earn credits in the fastest methods in Gran Turismo 7. Now, I will be showing some methods that are going to be, you know, more of a farm. And then I will show also some methods that are just by playing the game regular. That way, for any type of player, they have multiple options. Because personally, I'm not a player that likes to necessarily farm. I would rather continually pro progress through the story as I kind of play. So that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the license center. Now you can see I've basically completed almost all of the bees on gold except for the last one. So you do get two cars as well. If you get them all bronze or better, you will get a car and then all gold or better. You will get another car and then also you will get credits as you complete these to each level so for instance if i just click on this one if i got a bronze you get 800 if you get silver you get 1200 and then if you get gold you get 2000 and those all add up so it's not just one or the other so you can get 4000 just by getting a gold medal on this quick cornering basics and as you progress further obviously you will get more and more if you were to complete i did the calculations it's all of these on gold for the national b is 37,500 credits and two cars so if you get gold once you can't do it again to get gold and keep getting credits that's just something to keep in mind but it's a really easy way to learn the game and get some credits for the starting you can see i do have a pretty good amount of credits and like i said i don't actually farm at all Something else to keep in mind is make sure you are opening your gifts, your roulette tickets that you earn. Obviously, a one star is not going to get you much, but if you do complete the daily workout, you will get it. And this is what it looks like. So as it goes, it'll give you a reward. So you might get some credits or you might get a free car, which obviously if you do get a car, that's better anyways. Right here, you do get some credits. This is like the middle stack, which you will see is 5,000 credits, which is not bad just by playing the game. And it's super super simple something else to keep in mind is make sure if you do want to earn credits fast that you do go over to i believe it's on the global the race difficulty and change this to easy now if you want it that's only if you want it to be just purely for credits personally i would leave it on normal for myself because i like having a little bit of a challenge and i'm not necessarily ready for a hard level yet but normal is perfect for me i might not get first every time but at least i will have a little bit more competition but if you don't want the competition you just want credits make sure you go to easy because you still get the same amount of prize money now that takes us to the next point which is just completing the world circuit this is where you're going to make a lot of your money if not all of it so as you go ahead and complete these you will get cr rewards from just completing basically the story mode. If you are doing the menu books and you continually come in here to do those, then you will continually just get money. Some of them are gonna give you more, some of them are gonna give you less. Now there is some you can complete that give you a ton. And in here, by the way, you can continually redo it to get more. But for instance, in here, if you have a GR3 racing car, with 730 or less, then you could go ahead and complete this. And if you get first place, you would get 75,000 every time. If you do clean race, no matter what race you're doing, which means you don't run into any walls or cars, then you will get a 50% bonus, by the way. So if you were to earn 75,000, you would get an extra, I think, I don't know, 35,000, 40,000, somewhere around there. So that would be over 100,000 just for completing one race. Now there is a really good farm one right now that I have unlocked. And I can't do the top one yet because, like I said, I don't farm. So I'm not able to do the GR4. So if you have a GR4 racing car or if you have enough credits for it, you can go ahead and do this race. It is going to be the same map. I am just personally doing the one that actually gets less per win because, obviously, I didn't have the money to spend. So to get into this race and get able to do it if you're using the car that i use which is the lancer evolution final from 15 i got the pp to 546 and a 550 or less race and it didn't cost me too much money so this is my car i will go ahead and show you the car we'll back out and just go ahead and show you how to do it and then we'll show you the race as well so you can see how one full race goes so if we go ahead and go to the garage the car itself i bought brand new for sixty thousand which is not very expensive, that's why I like it. I just like the way it looks, and it's only that expensive, it's not that much. So in the tuning parts, this is where you go to go ahead and see where the tuning is, which I think you go over here actually, I probably messed that up. But you go over to the tuning shop right here, and I didn't spend that much on it, 
So I bought weight reduction because obviously I wanted weight reduction. I bought some uh, tires were actually already on this car, but I did buy the, where is it? I believe I bought two things from the racing. I think I bought three of them. So engine balance was 25,000. So that brings it to 80,000. And then the intercooler and air filter were about 3,000 each. So that's about like 85 to 86,000. And then I think I bought the this for like 3,000 or whatever it is. So it got me to about 90,000 out the door. And I'm basically able to race and get first place in that specific race. And you get really, really good money. So you will get, like I said, if you get a clean bonus, I believe it was 52,500 is what I got from it because it's, you get 35,000 for first place right here on this one right here. You get 35,000 for first place. And then obviously, like I said, um, you, the clean bonus, I believe it was 52,500 is what it came out to. So if you're able to do that, continually farm this one until you have enough cash or credits to go ahead and get a GR4 car. I believe they all cost 350,000 for a GR4 car if you want to do this. Like I said, this is really just a farming method. It's still good to get a GR4 car just for races that may need it in the future. Um, and even if you get just do it once or twice, it's still really good. Like I said, so you can kind of see the cars right here that some of the options that you do have. It's super super easy. We'll show you the full race like I said for the three right here. So you need a road car, sports tires. If you just go into any race, it does tell you what you need. This isn't the only one that you ha can do. You can do, for instance, you could come over to this circuit. If you wanted to go ahead and do it for another 35,000, you can use the same car. The only difference is the map. I obviously want to do an easy map, which is why I like this one. One of my pre-order cars, I believe, I forget which one it is, but my pre-order cars, I have one that works for it. This one's pretty good as well. It's pretty, uh, centralized it's like a pretty circular with not a lot of crazy turns which makes it a little bit easier if you do have a fast car but there was one i could do that i had a car for for instance this one if you have a gr3 racing car not a gr4 you could do it but the issue is that you run into is obviously the fact that um you know it's a really windy turning map which i don't really enjoy but i do have cars from the pre-order that i could use on that so we'll go ahead and go into the race and show you just one full race of how it works and then basically like i said you can apply it to any of the ones that you want um ideally you can just do one of each and try to get first place continually do it till you get first and that'll kind of let you farm but we'll just go ahead and show you the high speed ring right here which is my favorite that i found so far just based off the how the map looks and we'll show you how it works now something else to keep in mind is you may have a different car that is faster and that's totally fine as well this is just personally what i use um just because i like the evo it's always been a fun car for me to get and i saw it for sixty thousand, which is why i thought it was worth it but you can see right here it's going to be a pretty easy race um, there's like a couple turns that are going to be a little bit more annoying i don't always go for the clean um thing right sometimes i just run into people because frankly i'm just trying to get in the lead now once you get the lead you can kind of see if you are gaining on them. I always play in third person. Um, it's just what works for me. Now, you'll figure out too, kind of what the turns work for you. Like, you might not take all of them perfect. Sometimes you may not take them good. It may take you a couple of times to get really, really good at this specific map, which is why people do like playing the same one, because if you get good at one, then obviously it allows you to continually play it and get better at that one. So you can see we're just taking these corners kind of slow, not really, breaking too hard into them but not trying to gas too hard through them either and just basically keep our first place they're going to be on us it's going to be a fairly close one because our car is not that much faster than theirs to be honest because we don't have any special car necessarily that is like the best like i said there's probably cars that are for the 550 that are just going to be tremendously better that's not the case for us but we're still able to win this fairly easy as long as we race pretty good so that you can see is going to be one lap down and then basically you just go ahead and do the same thing, right? I don't need to show you exactly how to do every single one, but you just do the same thing. It works pretty easily and you can go ahead and win it. So if this video does help you out, make sure to go ahead and drop a like, subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. And as always, I will see you next time.